I actually didn't even know drama schools existed until I got the yellow pages out literally there were no there was no internet or anything like that when I was uh, a youngster and got on the phone and started calling and sending off prospectuses um, my family weren't really from the business well they weren't from the business at all um, and so um, when I found out that there was such a thing existed <laughs> I was like that has to be where I'm gonna go um, and and so that that took me two years to persuade my parents um, and so what actually what we're, we're trying to achieve with I Am Pro is that we are that brother, auntie, mum, dad, you know, that person who can really help you get to where you want to be with your training or with, um, with breaking into the industry. Um, a one-stop shop basically for everything you need to know because at 13 I just didn't have that. I, I had to figure it out with no computer, <laughs> you can imagine. So my drama school that I went to, I was only 13 and I was only there till I was 16. So I had great big plans of going to Guildhall or Bristol Old Vic or, you know, one of the big ones. That was, that was my dream. Um, uh, I started at Arts Educational and I did one year there where I was doing my A-levels and then uh, the casting for EastEnders came in and I'd done little jobs before. I did a bold commercial and I'd done an episode of The Bill, um, an episode of London's Burning, which was I used to love back in the day. Um, and yeah, and the EastEnders casting came in and I actually wasn't allowed to go. So uh, you're not meant to go for castings when you were at uh, college. So I ignored that <laughs> and went anyway. And, uh, and after three recalls for a part that I actually didn't know I was auditioning for. Um, they didn't tell me until I think it was audition number three, two or three, that the role was for Janine. Um, that's, that's when I got the job. So, you know, for me, having not been to one of the big drama schools from 18 onwards where you do a diploma, um, do I feel like I missed out a little bit? I do actually, I have carried a little bit of insecurity around uh, for quite a lot of my life, even though, you know, we may argue that I learned on the job and there's no place, no better place to have a training ground, which is all really true. But there was just something, I think, when you're thrown in the deep end like that, to have not studied any of the practitioners. I went off and did a little bit in my own time and it's why I've been so keen to do theatre so much. Um, but it definitely, <clears throat> I definitely missed out having um, a place where you can really explore different ideas and learn to trust yourself uh, in a really safe environment. So for me, it was like <laughs> my growing up was all in front of the cameras and there wasn't that much room for mistakes, um, which was wonderful on one hand, but a little um, stifling on the other. So I got really lucky after I'd done one year at Arts Educational. Um, I then got the part in EastEnders uh, at 17 and in I went and God, it was terrifying. I mean, I was a massive EastEnders fan, huge. Loved it back in the day. Um, and so you can imagine how daunting and how intimidating that was. But I was also super confident and um, really eager. I remember I was doing a play as well at, at, at night time and then going to the studio in the day. So I was sort of really immersed in it. and. Um, but I was, it was scary. It was really, really scary. Um, everybody there was absolutely lovely and I felt very, very supported by the BBC. It's a lot, you know, to go on a show like that when they had sort of 15 plus million viewers. It's a big life change, life changing event. And um, amazing in so many ways, amazing in so many ways, but yeah, pretty scary. I think some of the main difficulties that I found was actually trusting myself. You know, that goes back to being thrown into the deep end, which is utterly brilliant, but also terrifying. And so um, I've really had to learn, and it's still work in progress, how to trust my own opinion and um, be brave enough to make certain choices. Um, so I'd, I'd say that that's been quite difficult. You know, being typecast after being in a show like EastEnders um, can be tricky. I was very lucky with the character. She's amazing. I love playing her. Um, but you sort of almost shoot yourself in the foot slightly as well because all you're ever seen as really is Janine. But that's where the theatre work has been really important and really uh, exciting for me to explore different characters on stage and also building I Am Pro and um, 
trying to give back what I feel, you know, I was so lucky to have in so many ways. Um, exploring different potential there and, you know, trying to bring something to life that can really, really help um, the artists of the future. So that's exciting for me. So the advice I would have for young people <clears throat> today is there is so much on offer if you can, if you look for it and find it. Yes, with I Am Pro, there's so many amazing opportunities. So many people have this at their fingertips and they don't utilize it, you know? Go out, make the short film, write the script, meet like-minded people, bounce around ideas. Think about what stories you want to tell, what means a lot to you. Um, and I, I would really say, you know, really try and get in touch with who you are and your authentic self. I think it's really important to try and find your own voice and be really honest about who you are and what stories you want to tell and be unafraid to try and go out there and make that happen. I think making your own work in whatever capacity is, you know, is really where it's at. And to have that to show to people, whether it's just on your phone, something you're doing with like a group of mates, hiring a room and putting on a little stage show, that, that is where the, you learn, you know, that is where you learn about who you are and what it is you want to deliver. Um, so that is, that would be my advice to you. Take opportunities, take action, be unafraid to be yourself and make happen. How to make it in the industry. Get onto I Am Pro, have a look at what opportunities we've got. Cast and directors, open mic nights, agents, producers, directors, get down and get and perform in front of them as much as you can. Learn about the courses, do all of our on-demand courses. Um, sign up for the live modules, take action, look at all your local theatres, see what's going on. That's how you make it happen. I was from a really small town in North Wales and you know, we had a local theatre, but I knew that there was more. I knew I wanted more. And so before the time of computers or mobile phones, you know, I, I was in the yellow pages and seeing what the world had to offer. So be unafraid to kind of explore. There's so much at your fingertips. Explore everything and be brave. Make brave choices, make brave decisions. Step outside of your comfort zone. Enter that rehearsal room, put on that play. S call that person who might be interested in writing. It could be the new sitcom. This is where people start. It starts from a simple idea that you have either on your own or with your friends. You develop and then you, you put it out into the world. If you are from a small town, if you, your family has no idea about how to break into the industry, you don't know anybody that might be able to give you advice, that is what I Am Pro is all about. We are here for you. The hard work is being done for you. Monthly, you can perform in front of a casting director, director, agent, producer, every single month, the first Sunday of every month. We have on-demand sessions on there where you can learn from a practitioner that you might not have known about before. Um, live modules, self-taping, um, Q and A's from some of the best people in the industry, you know, at all sorts of different stages of their journey. Make sure you utilize all of this. Let us help you break into the industry. That is what we're here for. And that is what I'm passionate about.